rather work 80 hours a week to make 50k and work for myself than have a $7,500,000 job working for somebody else. Great at it requires a level of hustle that's, that's really hard to explain. And the reason is you're trying to maximize the optionality that you get in front of a home run pitch. And to do that, you have to look under every rock you possibly can. And so if you're not studying some new business model or new platform, you know, AI, like if you're not just in every meeting, then you're lowering the chance that you're gonna be successful. It's, it's an exhausting game. And there's amazing people at other firms doing the exact same mm -hmm. thing. What would be your biggest advice to an entrepreneur or somebody trying to start a business? Well, you know, first know your business, right? I think people will always stop me and say, well, I want to start a business, what should I do? Mm -hmm. And if you don't know, you're not ready. You've got to have something that you're good at. If you're going to do it, you got to be the best at it. Courage and genius. Um, courage is the one we talk about a lot because it's the one that people can learn. Um, uh, you know, courage, courage, which is to say not giving up in the face of adversity. Uh, you know, just being absolutely determined to succeed, you know, is something that you can, you can like force yourself to do. It can be very painful, you can force yourself to do it. The genius part is a little bit hard to force yourself to do. Um, you know, courage without genius might not get you where you need to go, but genius without courage almost certainly will. I actually love that example of if I got passionate about that and did that, and it's a really hard thing to do, it'd be exciting to go pursue it. So I like hard challenges, I like difficult things, I like working against the odds, and that brings out my competitive spirit, and now I happen to constrain it to areas where I think I can have a positive impact. About being prepared. It's about, you know, companies don't fail for lack of cash or attitude. Companies fail for lack of brains and effort. Putting yourself in your customer's shoes to understand what they want. It's about always reiterating everything, knowing that someone's out there trying to take that business from you. Someone's trying to compete for your customers. It's not, hey, I'm a hard ass and, you know, try to come and get me. It's, you know what, I don't care what you do, I don't care what you say, because if I outthink you, if I outwork you, if I take care of my customers better than you, it doesn't matter what you do. And so it's not about toughness, it's not about attitude.